to the distinctive Al Vaid Stadium with its tent light structure. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And it's second time around in the group stage for these two teams. It's France, and they take on Tunisia. Thanks, Derek. Well, it was a really good start for our hosts, wasn't it? But they need to back it up with another good display today. The fans certainly expect them to. Saifedin Jaziri. Teo Hernandez. Nkunku has it. Mbappe. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well, they keep working away, looking for an opening. Teammates available. Pogba. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? A danger here as he runs at them. And he read it well defensively. Benzema. Nkunku. Mbappe. Great vision to switch the play. Teo Hernandez. Can he find the net? And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Well, half-time coming up shortly, and the home side on top. Stuart, interested to get your critique. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Ferjani Sassi. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And smart defending. Our play stopped. It is a free kick. Managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Mr. Moon is in the building. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, a good tackle. Elias Skiri. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw-in. Paul Pogba. And running it back. Laiduni. Ferjani Sassi. Showing a real will to win the ball. Can he do it? Oh, right in the nick of time. He got the touch on the ball. A throw-in now. And he has options available. Nkunku. Well, how close was that? Inches away. Sliti. Aisa Laiduni. Drega. Jaziri. Moving the ball nicely. Looking for that final pass. But then the one that goes astray. Coman, Nkunku, Benzema, Kylian Mbappe. A good and fair challenge. So almost at full time, and the home side on course to eke out a narrow win. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game, but if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well, and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Determined defending. And a throw-in it's going to be. Well, they've been getting two substitutes warmed up, and both will come on here. Can he find the right pass? 
And he takes the it on. Well, it's the Lakeshore. And they are level again. Time. So underway again, Asia. following the goal that made things level. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. But the danger averted for now. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, threat averted. And so the referee blows for the end of the contest. And France have to settle for a share of the spoils. Stuart, your reaction to their performance? Yes, the disappointment is clear to see. Obviously, with 10 minutes to go, they must have been feeling confident that they could see it out.